So, I guess what we're here today to talk about is exactly what's going to happen with this channel. I think it's important to kind of learn a little bit about me. Let me just talk about, you know, dreams and stuff like that. I have a lot of them. I'd say throughout my whole life, um, I've always been a bit of an explorer, you know? Someone that likes to try new things, do different stuff, try to see the world a certain way. I don't really want to limit that to abandoned buildings because what this is for me at this point is, oh, look at that, losing focus, haha, <laughs> love you auto. The thing is, is that with me, nowadays shooting just abandoned buildings isn't going to really work anymore. You know, I love this stuff, don't get me wrong. What's important to me is so much more than that and so much more than just you know, taking pictures of things that are broken. So, you know, I guess for a long time I've always felt kind of like those things. And that's why I've always done it. But nowadays, I, I want to shoot everything. Show the world the way I see it. And that's what I aim to really do. So things are going to be changing a lot around here. I really want to push this. This is not just a channel. This is where I'm storing portfolio for my own personal career at this point. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of different stuff, just a lot of different shoots, a lot of different places, a lot of different feelings. And we'll be traveling a whole bunch. In June, we're gonna be taking a week long road trip that's gonna take us from here in our little town in New Jersey, all the way down to Texas. And we're gonna be filming the whole time. I'll be honest with you, the way life's been the last couple months, last even year or so, I've just been a whole bunch of, eh. And to be honest with you, the way that I am is I need to move. I love change. I need these things. And I've never really had the chance to go that far and for that long. I was always a really outgoing kid. And I grew up into a really outgoing adult, but... The last month's really changed a lot. I think I need to really tell you that too. You know, not that outgoing dude anymore. You know, a lot of people don't really think hard enough about life. I feel pretty lonely. But I don't I hate it. It's pretty fun to be lonely, to be honest with you. This doesn't really, don't think of it as anything more than really what it is. I love you guys. All. 80 something of you, almost 90 something of you. And I know we have come a very long way by this point where we're changing things entirely, but I would like to say I mean, we went from nothing to almost 90 people. Just even that in itself is awesome. And like I said, this is now just a place I'm going to be storing everything I do. I like a journal mixed with all of the things that I'm proud of. And for those of you who stick around and are watching all the videos, from now on, this is what it's going to kind of be like. I'm going to really try to put a lot more work into this, and yeah, it is that. Oh yeah, also, I'm filming this during the worst storm New Jersey's apparently had in like the last uh, 10 years. Isn't that incredible? We'll check that out in a second, that's pretty cool. I guess another thing I'd really need to tell you before we end this is what I really plan on doing exactly. So exactly what I want to do is I want to be able to shoot just about anything. And that sounds really broad and doesn't give much description, but I really want to focus on documentary work, but more so news work. I, I really kind of feel as a person that the news really doesn't tell us much. It doesn't do much for us, you know, it, it's just a bunch of lies. <laughs> Go ahead and shove whatever they want down your throat. And it was, I mean, when was the last time you watched the news? Yes. Yes. Love that. So, what I was saying before auto focus fucking cut me off, dick. There, there's, I don't understand. There's a lot of bad stuff in the world, but would it kill you to just tell me, hey, this local dog saved freaking three children from getting food poisoning. I don't know, just something. So I want to be able to tell some of the stories I think are important, some of the things that I think need to be said. 
some of the things I think need more attention. As much as I can, you know. I am still just a 20 year old dude trying to get his way in the world. I want to put some serious work into documentarian journalism and overall, you know, some travel stuff too. I love those travel videos. I mean, there's these dudes called Travel Feels. I'll link them in the description just because, like, they had this great one about Norway. It's amazing. It's fantastic. You're gonna love it. God, it's great. <laughs> But seriously, you gotta check it out. I don't know, I really can't tell you. I can just say, you should watch, find out. Cause I don't even really know. I just know it's gonna be a lot of hard work. And a lot more of this. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Check out the snow.